played at an MVP level in the first round. For Jason Tatum, I'm looking at that assist number. I mean, he was averaging three assists uh, on the season back in January. So, obviously, he's up that count in his game. So, the question for you, uh, which team is more equipped at guarding the other team's superstar? I, I think Boston is more equipped. Not that the, due to the fact they got the best defensive player in the game on their team and smart, but you got Brown, you got Tatum, even got Harford, and probably one of the best shot blockers in the game right here in Robert. They are very equipped defensively to guard anybody in this series because he just came from guarding Durant, a long, lanky guy. I know Giannis is a different monster, but they kind of got a little taste of it, so they're a little bit prepared for this. What's crazy is when you said that they have the best defensive player. I know Marcus Smart's defensive player of the year. For a second, I thought you were talking about Robert Williams. That's how good they are defensively. For the Bucks, most important player not named Giannis or Drew Holiday with Chris Middleton out. I think it's going to be Robert, I mean, uh, Portis. I Bobby think Portis. Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis is going to have to be big. You think about it in the playoffs last year, the fans were chanting his name. He became like a little folklore in – Milwaukee, in Milwaukee because Bobby played great, played great defense. He has a toughness. And when you get in the playoffs, you need some type of toughness. And he's out, he's out there guarding people, putting his nose in the place. We like to say mucking things up. And that's the type of guy <laughs> he is in the playoffs. So for Giannis, we saw the monster numbers against the Bulls. Can he lead this team to the Eastern Conference Finals again without Chris Middleton because he's reportedly out. He's going to have to. Um, if you look at the way Giannis plays, I say this all the time, but he is the hardest playing guy in the NBA. He doesn't take any plays off. His body is incredible. He's built for this. He can do so many things, and he's improving his, his free throws. He's improving his three-point shot. So in order to stop him, you got to throw three guys in him, and that's going to be up to guys like Drew, Grayson Allen. They got knocked down those open shots. Most important player not named Tatum or Brown on the Celtics? <laughs> oh, Smart, uh, Robert, uh, the whole team, because they're going to need that versus Giannis, because Giannis, when he's going downhill, he's in attack mode. So you got to get that line of defense. You got to get that wall built. So I think for Boston to win this series, every player on this team has to be engaged. And when we talk about rotating defense, they're going to have to rotate their butts off because they got all these guys that Giannis knows how to find to shoot pot threes, spot up threes, and they got to defend in order to win this series. Quickly, your prediction. Who wins this series how many games? Man, don't do that to me. Man, don't do this one. This is a hard one. I, 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 I You know, from playing for the Lakers, I want to say I can't say Boston. So I'm going to go with Milwaukee in seven. <laughs> All right, let's see who's going to be the big shot Bob in game.